You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures too. I just want to thank you for for all you um, know studying with me for everything you've been doing for this final year exams you know it's okay this one it's all my pleasure I mean there's, there's no big deal trying to help a cosmic you know yeah um, listen I, I know I'm not supposed to bring this up now but um, I'm, I'm, I'm used I'm, I'm from a home where we, we express ourselves and I I'm attracted to you and oh I I was hoping maybe now that we're leaving school, we could have a date before we go. Desmond, I can't give you an answer right now. I'm actually rushing up for a lecture and we're already late. <laughs> it's Saturday, I mean, come on. I can't. I, oh, don't worry, when I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a date. I, I can't. <laughs> we're leaving school in three weeks. Before the three weeks is over, I'll give you, we'll, we'll hang out. <laughs> All right. I'm so optimistic. Here. Okay. It's very cute. Take care. Have a nice. You're looking lovely. Today. Oh, same to you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Mary? Mary or Kafa, right? Desmond Ozilike! <laughs> oh my god! Listen, what are you doing? Oh, come here, come here, come here. So good to see you. Looking what? beautiful as always. Thank eh? you. So, what are you doing here? Um, I'm sorry, I'm still in shock. Uh, well, my dad owns a company. Your dad? Oh my god, I should have known that. The Owsley case, huh? Oh, yeah. oh my god, so your dad is my boss. Uh, small word. <laughs> small word. Did he tell me what anyway? He didn't know. We didn't I didn't do. know. Well, um, he actually forgot his file on the breakfast table, so I brought it back with the driver. Okay, I. Is, is he? Yes, he is. Should I take. No, 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 no. <laughs> no protocol for me. Okay, okay all right, right then. No okay. problem. Yeah. I'll see you now, okay? Yeah, sure. Secretary. Mm, what about my secretary? I went to school with her. We're classmates. You did? Mm-hmm. I see. Yeah, she's a brilliant girl. Uh, very duty conscious. She's been with me for a while. Mm. Mm. Yes, she was something of a genius these days. Really. <laughs> we used to call her PhD Mary. <laughs> <laughs> we started together and uh, well, she really helped me for my final year exams. Mm. Well, it's coincidental that she's working with me now, so you'll get to see her whenever you want. <laughs> um, I know it's um, your policy not to interfere with work and all that, but whatever you can do, do for her, please. She really is a nice person. Okay? All right, I've heard you. How has your day been? Ah, oh, boring. Believe me. Yeah, I'm active. I'm tired of just sitting around the house doing nothing. I can't wait for this admission to come through so I can get out. It's alright, you just have to tarry a while. Um, I guess in the next couple of days your admission letter will come in. I'm very positive about that. I've done all that is supposed to be done, so... Um, you just have to endure the boredom for a short while. Well, I echo your sentiments. 
What you can pull off can be pulled off, big guy, eh? Sorry. Alright, big guy, I need to run. My friend is waiting for me. It's okay. Right. Don't stay away for too long. Okay. Right. Don't walk too hard. I promise you I won't. <laughs> See you later. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah, I just went to deliver the file, that's it. You're really looking good, you know. Thank you. <laughs> We're walking out. Yeah, suits you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd like to see you again. Wow, let's see. <laughs> That'd be good, as long as it doesn't affect my duty. Oh, come on. Just to say thank you for the old days, I really owe you. Okay, I'll just go through my schedule and I'll tell you what date suits me. Come on, nobody walks on weekend. I do sometimes, you know. Alright, let's see, Saturday or Sunday? Saturday's good. I know there's a great Chinese restaurant, we love it. Alright, then that's all. Okay. Let, me, let me give you my card. Yes, yes, sure. Card, card, card. Yes, there you go. That's my home number and that's my GSM number. Okay, well, I'm on the labor market here. I don't have any cards. <laughs> right. I'll text you my number. Oh, please. Is that good? Okay, then. Alright. Take care. Mm -hmm. See you on Saturday. So useful. Right? <laughs> Thank you. Bye. 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 That reminds me, Mama. Mm -hmm. I guess who I met at the office today. And who was that, my daughter? An old schoolmate of mine. Old schoolmate? I'm telling you. <laughs> and do you know another thing, Mama? Mm -mm. He happens to be my boss's son. Eh? Hey, what a small world! Mary! And another thing, he asked me out for a lunch date. Lunch date? Yes, ma'am. Mary, just be careful. You know these rich men with their funny mentality. Don't worry, mama. Mary, I don't want you to lose your job. You know how long you've searched for a job until God provided one for you. Please, my daughter, be careful. Don't worry. Please, be careful. Don't worry, I Mama. I eh? my daughter. <laughs> hey. I got something for you from the office. And what is that? Wait. It's supposed to be a surprise. Wait. I can't wait to see. <laughs> You're something like an introvert. Well, to casual friends like you, yeah. But to my girls, man, I was the best thing that ever happened to them. Mm. <laughs> Those were good old days, you know? Yeah, I really enjoyed that. So, um, are we going to do this again? Because I'm having a good time. <laughs> do you not know that I work? You want me to lose my job? No. Come on. The man that owns the business, it's my father. I can always manipulate him. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you go ahead then. Says so that a yes? Maybe not. Maybe yes. Mm. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's take it one day at a time. All right. Mary was something of a genius when we were in school. She was so brilliant. Yes, she must be because uh, even as a secretary, she's a very conscientious worker. She's very diligent. You know what she reminds me of? No. Mom. You know, they share so much in common. They share the same diligence at getting things properly done. They share the same beauty, the same intense intelligence. It's awesome. You know, your mother was a very virtuous woman. She was very companionable. 
I pray that God grants her soul eternal rest. Amen. I miss every day, Dad. Yeah? Yes, I miss your mother every day that I live. And that's why I said to keep the memory of our association alive, I'm never ever likely to marry again. Well, we must all go someday. That's, uh, that's the appointment we have with destiny. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah, she good. Let me um, let me see doctor. I'll come I'll be back. Hmm? I won't be long. <clears throat> yeah, but um, the bigger your beard. Yes, uh, yes. Oh, well, I, um, I'm really sorry to bother you. I was wondering if this is Mary Okafo's residence. Yes. I'm her mother. Oh. I hope there's no problem. No, no, no problem at all. We have a date for this afternoon, so I came to get her. Is she at home? Yes. Let me call her for you. Thank you, ma'am. Mary! Angel! Hi. Hello, sweetheart. You look stunning. Thank you. Mama? Yes, my dear. This is my friend, Desmond. My boss's son, the one I was telling you about. Okay. Nice to my meet son, you, ma'am. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. How is your father? Very well, thank you. Uh, Mary. Yes, mama. Fake him inside and get him something to drink. Oh, no, 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 don't bother. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're actually on our way out and I've had something to drink before coming here. Go and get one. Okay. Let me go and get my bag. Oh. Um, do you mind? I could help you with that, madam, if that's okay. Oh, no, my dear. Don't bother. It's part of the physical exercise. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. yeah I'm ready. Come on, first. This month? Mary. She's in good hands, man. You know each other for you. You're welcome. You look stunning. Thank you. How was it? Did you want to pick up my phone? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why are you staring at me like that? I don't know. Oh, uh, you... You kind of, um... Remind me of my mother. Really? The arrangement is not acceptable to me. I'll be going to Abuja on Wednesday from Lagos. That's a journey of about nine hours, and you know I don't fly. I'm going by road. Look, don't try to look. Baruana the Grigan Samanari Kanagaimaka. I will not go by air. I'm going by road. So we'll leave it for Sunday after. All right, I'll get back to you. Hi, Dad. Hello, sir. Good day, sir. <laughs> See who the cat dragged in, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you didn't... 
tell me that you were coming here today? No. Actually, I ran into Desmond and he decided to invite me over. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's what happened there. It's alright. Make yourself comfortable. You want something to drink? Okay. Just take a stroll around the back. Okay. It's alright, man. Make yourself comfortable. Careful, big guy. Alright. Sit down. Why are you so worked up? Uh, no, I'm okay. Why did you have to tell him we were running to me? Hmm? I was short of words. I didn't know what to say. Do you want something to drink? No, no, um, yes. You want something strong, alcoholic? No, 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 I'm fine. It's something soft, not cold. Mm -hmm. It's the mid day off, so I have to get it myself. Okay. Okay. Why did you bring that girl to this house? Oh, Dad, she's just a friend of mine. I mean, we went to school together. I don't like the idea. I don't encourage those who work with me to get too close to me. And the reason is very simple. The white man says familiarity breeds contempt. She gets used to this place, she begins to take liberties. First, it will affect her diligence to duty, and then progressively she'll begin to insult me. I want to get against all that. Dad, I don't think she's that kind of person. I She's immaculately brought up and she will not go out of her way to disrespect anybody. You see, you will not appreciate what I am telling you. When you take over from me and begin to run my business, you realize what I am saying now. I am successful today because I know where to draw the line and I want you to do the same. You can take it whatever you like, but here, go. Uh, are you not blowing this thing a little out of proportion, Dad? No, I don't think I am. I'm only trying to ensure that I don't mix business with pleasure and I do not lose my self-respect. I want you to do the same. Hmm? Okay, then. Right. Yes, sir. Tell Mary to bring me the file on foreign transactions. Sir, she's not on seat. What? Um, she went out with your son about an hour ago. All right, you can go now. Why would he sack you from the office? I'm sure you did nothing to him. Hmm? Mary. Mama, I don't know what I would have done to deserve this kind of sack. I, I, I just, I don't know. I know I was very diligent in carrying out all my duties. I think you have to go and see him and know his reasons. Okay? You have to do that. Um, good day, Mom. Good day. What's wrong? Why is she doing she so cold? I stopped by the office to see you. They said you had gone home. Isn't it a little too early? What is this? What is this? She 
Damnation link. And it's got my dad's signature on it. Oh. Listen, I'm really sorry. I, why would he sack you? Did you do something wrong? Hmm? Listen, I know whatever is the reason. It had nothing to do with anything ob obnoxious towards you. He kept talking about how brilliant and diligent you were at work and now this. Why don't you let me talk to him? Let me know the logical reason behind this. In any case, if he doesn't take you back out, I know I'll get you another job. With your qualification with my contact, that will not be a problem. Okay? They don't take it so hard, no? It's not the end of the world. Is that what your mom was called to? It's not my fault. Yeah, sure. But that, that, that is not being reasonable, Dad. What did she, what did that innocent girl do to deserve a sack? I told you before, I don't mix business with pleasure. Besides, whatever happens to the office, I like to restrict to the office. Don't be part of your business, sir. But Dad, listen, it's not enough to sack that girl. Dad, can we discuss this? Dad! Dad! You know, when I look at you, I believe there's nothing on earth that's going to pull us from your shit. The greatest thing that can ever happen is to share your heart and soul with the one you love. I want you to be rest assured that one will feel for each other's feelings. And there's nothing that will stop it as long as we need. Your words are the sweetest song I've heard. I don't know how much I can show you how much you mean to me. More than enough. Please to us. To us. To us. Together forever. Together forever. Remain Gladys insisted in. What is bothering you, my angel? Talk to me. Mama, I'm okay. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm fine. Are you sure? Because I cannot stand the sight of you looking this disheartened. Please, my daughter, cheer up for me. You know, you are all that I have in the world since we lost your father. Mom, okay. Yeah. Mom, if you are fine and okay, share up for me. <laughs> That's my angel. Who is that? It's me, Desmond, man. Desmond. I'm sure you'll be happier now, Desmond. <laughs> You're welcome, my son. Thank you. Pass it. Thank you. Thank you. Pass it. Thank you. I'm glad to see you, my son. I know you're terrible. She has been unhappy since yesterday. May you please talk to her? Yes, ma'am, no problem. Excuse me. Yes, 
you now. I know you're deeply wounded with what my father said. Who wouldn't be? But look at it this way. I think he's ignorant. He doesn't understand how much we love each other. Okay? Forgive him for the sake of our love. Remember, it's only true love that stands the test of time. Okay? Okay. I love you, you love me, that's what matters. Yeah. Come on, stop with what's with the street face. Angels are supposed to smile all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have you had some to eat? No? Do you know how beautiful you are, Sunshine? Oh, stop flattering me. I'm not. Now, the first time I met you, I thought I was attracted to you because you were beautiful. Then when I got closer, I found out that you're not only beautiful from the outside. You're even more beautiful from the inside. You're the purest, truest gift of God in my life. Oh, come on, Des. I believe Please. It. I mean it. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I want you to be the mother of my kids. This, this is a symbol of our love together, together forever, if you say yes. That means a lot. At all times, you must bother about the reputation of this family. It has taken me years to build it, and I want to preserve it. That means you must, at all times, be obsessively aware of the company you keep. If you mix with people of your class, we preserve that reputation. If you hobnob with people below your class, you not only question that reputation, but you impugn my personal integrity. That can queer my political chances. And I intend at the end of this to contest for the presidency by going higher. So I'd like to warn you, um, don't mix with people whose company is likely to put a question mark on your own reputation as my son. Because of that, I'd like you to discontinue your involvement with Mary. Let's keep the name of this family. Let's preserve our reputation. I hope you'll understand this. You know that I've always been appreciative of who you are. What you represent in this country in my life. Mary is a unique woman. If you look beyond all these superficial things, 
I think she's the most unique woman I've met since mom. And I thought the primary concern here should be who impacts a positive influence in my life as opposed to class or status or all these superficial things. It's, 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 it holds absolutely no consequence here. I'm happy when I'm with her. You see, you, you cannot understand if you pick up any other girl. I will not hesitate to sanction the association and give you my blessing. But Mary, no, no, not Mary. Well, okay, that we've had this conversation before, and I asked you a question then. But we're having this conversation now, and I want to ask you precisely the same question. What do you hold against Mary besides class and, and, and status? Give me one potent reason why I should not marry her. And I'll just continue. You see, talking as your father, I don't want you to continue your relationship with Mary. As I said, if you show me any other girl, I will give you my blessing. But if it must be Mary, then don't count on me. Dad, you can't even give me a reason. You've placed me in a precarious position because even as we speak now, I've proposed to her already. I want your blessing, Dad. You've proposed to Mary without letting me know? And now you solicit my blessing? No, you don't sue for paternal endorsement after you had bungled. No, I don't think I'll give you my blessing, son. <sighs> Certainly not. You know, your dad, it's always been my, my philosophy that if I'm granted 10 lifetime by God. I'll keep choosing you as my father. Thank you. We've not come to a crossroad under any topic under the sun. And now you place me in this most disagreeable position and you leave me no choice. I'm an adult dad. With a well-trained mind, thanks to you. I can make my own decisions. I'm going to go ahead and marry her, respective of whatever circumstance she pleased me. I'm sorry. I want you to think carefully about this. Okay, Dad? I'm afraid there's a little problem here. What is it? 
After crying out a chest, I discovered his kidneys are infected. What? Yes, his kidneys? Uh, yes, Chief, he has a kidney failure. Eventually, there will be a kidney transplant. But before then, we have to place him on dialysis. We have to look for a matching donor, and that must be done as fast as possible, Chief, before the situation gets out of hand. Wait. Kidney failure? All right. I'll see you in the office. All right, Chief. Who be that? Hey, <laughs> authentic sister. Hey, How are you? I don't balance about. It's uh, this my mom. You never hear. What is it? He don't reach there one week now. Yes, I know it's been a week since I saw him last. But what's, what's the matter? Small organ no well. No well? What could be wrong with him? What did they do? I mean, no, no. But anything, what they do are for now, as I did talk to you, so in the hospital. What? What hospital is this? Oh, come on, out with it. What hospital is this? Uh, St. Patrick's Hospital. Now you're waiting here for a big I'll see you later. I'll see you in rush. Okay, now, nah, you're going to be. Alright. Big one, big one. This month's fiance. His fiance? Yes. Anyway, as you can see, he needs a total rest. So if you don't mind, can you excuse me? Thank you. His kidneys are infected and he needs to undergo a quick kidney transplant if he must live. Doctor, please, I don't want him to die. What, what, what are you're, we going to do, please? He's not going to die. But the only option we have now is to get a, an accurate kidney donor. Because we carried out the test on his father's kidney and it's not matching. So we need the right kidney for him before his case gets out of hand. Oh, God. Um, doctor, please, can you run a test on my kidney and see if it is okay? Why not, if, if you want to volunteer, why not? Please, I want to do it. All right. To fear God forbid. My daughter cannot lose her kidney for a man. Mary, do you realize the implication of what you are trying to do? Don't you know you can also lose your own life? Oh. Mama, I will not lose my life. By the grace of God, at least the doctor has confirmed it. He says that my it's safe for me to do the kidney transplant. Besides, you have to start realizing that. This one is part of me. I'd rather die than be. Major Shut up! Maybe, ma'am. How can you wish yourself that? Now listen. You cannot go for that kidney transplant or whatever they call it. Mama, I'd rather die than to live to see my future crumble. And if you don't let me show! Let me show! Okay. Chief. Mm -hmm. 
the, the news is not so, so pleasant. The test what you carried out on your kidney did not match with that of your son. Good. But not to worry, there's a good news too. A lady walked into the hospital and uh, presented herself as a relation of yours. She volunteered her own kidney, we carried out a test and it was excellent. I see, so where is she now? Oh, Chief, here she is. Who does that? She's got sense, Chief. See, let me tell you something. God has given Desmond and I love, which I know is the greatest gift anybody can wish for. He will never fail us. Why won't I cry? Mary, why do you wish to leave me all alone in this world? We have I wronged you. You are all that I have in this world. Leave me all alone. <laughs> Stop crying, please. I have to go and do what I have to do. Don't worry, I'll come back. Please. Let me go. I have to go. I'm going to do my, I'm going to do my. Leave me alone. Mary, you're indeed a godsend. Endeavor to contact me once you get there. And I'm very sure Dr. Smith will handle the case perfectly well. All right, Doctor. Just take care of yourself. Thank you, Doctor. I, I should be on my way, sir. Thank you. It's a wonderful reunion because when you were leaving for the States for the operation, I'll be honest with you, I never knew we would ever sit down this way again. So I thank God for everything. Mary, I'm particularly grateful to you for the sacrifice you made to ensure that my son lives. I thank God especially for two reasons. One, that the operation was successful. And secondly, that both of you came back in one piece. What would we have done without you? I don't know. 
か Honestly, I don't know how best to express my appreciation for what you did.、Um, but for you, who knows, my son would probably have been joined to his forefathers. Let me show a little appreciation. Here, take this. Go on, take it. Come on. Yeah. Whatever you wish to buy with it, please use it. A car, a parcel of land, a house.、Uh, I'm sorry, sir. This is five million naira here. No, I'm sorry. I can't accept that. Why? Sir, it is the will of God that this operation was successful. I didn't do this because of money. I did it because of the love I have for your son. So please, sir. My, my dad just wants to show his appreciation. Okay, it's no big deal. We've done much more for people we barely know. Desmond, I love you. I didn't do this because of the money I'll get from your dad. No. With all due respect, sir, I can't take this money. I'm sorry, I can't take this money. Please. Listen, babe, you and your mom need this money. It will make life better for you. No, we don't need the money. Please. I really appreciate everything, okay? Thank you so much. It's all right. Just drop it here. Yeah, still coming back. So, um. Break our meeting there, so I got you some things. All this for me. Desmond, you are the kind of son-in-law every mother would dream of. May God continue to bless you for your kindness. Amen. You're welcome. <laughs> oh my God! Now, Angel, Angel, sit down. I want to talk to both of you. My children, Desmond. I don't want this love that you share to die. I don't want it. Mary here is my daughter. She's all I have in this world since I lost her father. May he so rest in peace. Desmond, I know how much my daughter loves you, and I would want you to reciprocate. Please, none of you should hurt each other. Wow, 
and we can you know, we can rest easy on that fact that I, I'm not going to hurt her. I mean, nothing is like hurting my own heart. If there's anything like my missing rib and my soulmate, I found it in your daughter. I will not hurt her. I paid you. Don't worry, Mama. He won't hurt me. And I won't hurt him either. I fed you all, my children. Your word is as pure as strong. Please, don't forget this. Hello. Oh, sorry. Juices and malt and all that kind of stuff. It's okay. Any of them. Any of them. Go. Okay, let me check. Okay. okay. I'll see you. Six months now since you came back from the States, and uh, I notice you're working feverishly hard to establish some relationship again, Mary. I don't think it's worth it. Um, you see, she's not in your class. Um, she's from a very poor background, and I have examine her circumstances. She really does not, she does not qualify to even be in your company. But Dad, I, I really don't believe you're talking like this, not after all she's been through. Yes, I am saying it because I've examined the entire situation. I offered her a lot of money to uh, give you a break. She wouldn't accept it. Um, that's to show you that I appreciate what she did for you, but she wouldn't take the money and, um, but I insist, it will not work. Dad, it just it doesn't work that way. Listen, there's no fortune that can equal the kind of sacrifice she made for me. I can't abandon her now. Um, I agree that she sacrificed for you but you see what you don't understand is that she has a program she sacrificed for you so she could get to you and pave her way to the family fortune i mean women have a way of doing this they attach themselves to a man with plenty of prospects so they can reach out and grab the family teal and that's precisely what she has tried to do and because I know that, I've said, no, let's not allow it happen to us. Dad, I'm afraid I don't agree with you. Not at all. C come on. I've heard you, but you've really not given me any logical reason as to why I should leave her. None. I can't abandon her, not now. Mm, you know, son, 
I am sitting down here and looking at the future. You can't understand what I am saying. No, you can't. You don't have the capability to, not at this age, but we want to get against challenges of the future. Give it a thought, what we just discussed. Think about it and um, tell me your reaction. We'll talk about it again. Hmm? Yes, sir. Good. I'm afraid I'm running late. I want to get to town to get some things. It's all right. You need anything? Mm -hmm. My favorite brand, that's all. You've been on low all day. What's what's going on? What's wrong? It's nothing, sunshine. Just personal stuff. Come on, talk to me. I know when something's bothering you. We've been together for God knows how long. I know when something's eating you up. So come on, tell me. My dad. It's, we had a really nasty argument the other day, and it's not like him. An argument? I hope it's not that serious. I've, I've, I've never seen him like that, baby. Never. It's okay. Alright. Come on, where's my other face? Smile for me, <laughs> smile for me. Come on. <laughs> yes, that's, that's right. You know, I wonder what life would be like without you. We're made for each other. Thank you for always being there, baby. You're welcome. Let me grab a little sleep. <sighs> for you all day. It didn't show up, right? Desmond, I beg you in the name of God, leave me alone. Okay? Leave me alone. Go to your rich father. I know I mean nobody. Please, let me be. My father said this to you. I don't know why you take things he says so seriously. Come on. It's about you and I. You must forgive my father. I think he is largely ignorant as regards how we feel about each other. What is the love we feel for each other? What happened to the promise? Together forever, you remember? Come on. Sunshine, please.
Mm. How was your day? Good, I got news for you. You're looking excited. Yes, your official papers are here. Hey, Dad, come on, you played that trick on me the last time. This is for real. <laughs> and I mean it. Where? Open the side back. Come on. Go on. Go on. I saw you, Dad. Oh, I'm sorry, I dropped your bag. Harvard. Harvard? Yes. It's really Harvard? Yes. A dream come true. But I told you I could swing it, that's Harvard. Oh, Dad, this is. Do you know what this means? Yes. In the next 18 months, you'll get your master's. That means you'll be employable anywhere in the country. Dad, you're the best dad in the world. Thank you. you. Harvard. Well, well, well. <clears throat> Can I leave tonight? <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't you think this course was any pressure? I was waiting for you to suggest the big guy. Yes, yes, my favorite. Okay, go get. Wait, wait, is your brother still there? Yes, yes. Because I have to be a top. Take a touch, you call it. I love you, Dad. I'm coming, okay? Right. How do you expect me to be happy when I know you leave me for so long? Not for too long. I'll email you every night. I'll send you postcards and, and, and write to you every other week. And I'll call you every day. Be happy for me, baby. It's, it's Harvard. You know, I've always wanted to go. It's, it's not like I'm not happy for you, but it's just that I can't bear the fact that I'm going to have to miss you for years. It's years. It's not for years. I'm, I'm, I'll be back every other holiday. Even if it's a week, I'll be back. Besides, it's not about been physically apart. It's about two spirits, no two minds bonded together forever. Promise me you're going to be there for me. As long as there's breath in me, there'll be no me without you. Son, I've always spoken to you like a son, a friend, a brother. Today, I will talk with you one-on-one, -on -one, as one man to another man. Pour yourself some wine, son. You see, there is something I've kept away from you all this while. But I think the time has come to make a clean break of it. When your mother died, I made up my mind that I would never marry again. By implication, it meant I would never look any other woman in the face. Because no woman qualifies to hold a candle to your mother. And I mean every word of that. I maintained that resolve for a very long time, fencing off all the overtures that women were making to me. In one of my business transactions, I met Mary. Mary was there in attendance. At the end of the meeting, she met me and said she was impressed by how I conducted myself in the meeting and would wish you could work with me for some pay that was better than she was getting. She sounded intelligent and I thought she could be an asset if I put her in my office. So I engaged her as my personal secretary and uh, I did not regret it. She's conscientious, she's diligent, she's punctual, and she offers good advice. 
I began to notice that I was beginning to take an interest in her beyond her official responsibilities. I did not like it. But it was mutual. She admired me a lot and I reciprocated. I tried to fight it. The spirit was there, willing to put up that fight. The flesh was weak and could not back up the spirit. Then one thing led to another. She got close to me. I got close to her. We started going out on lunch dates, dinner dates. Progressively, we started dating. Then we started an affair. I was having an affair with Mary. It lasted for a while before I managed to fight it off. Then you came in. Yes, like father, like son. The same qualities you saw in Mary, quick like you observed in one of our conversations your mother had, were the same qualities I saw in her. You were taken in by all that. And I noticed a decided tilt towards her. I did not want to encourage that. I thought I should step in. In our culture, it is taboo for a man and his son to enjoy sexual favors from the same woman. I was already there. It was your turn now to also go and take a dip. I didn't think I liked it. I couldn't fight it, but all I could do was try to discourage you. You've asked me several times what I hold against Mary. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And all that stuff about class distinction was what it was. Crap. Nothing. I just did not want you to continue from where I stopped. Son. Every other thing is history. This is the fact. The undiluted fact. Mary! 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 Listen, this house will not continue your If you insist on waiting miserably for a man, you cannot predict his mind over there. Mary, for God's sake, this is the second year he left to where you just know. All in the name of studying. 